But for in the beginning, very few expressions carry the kind of punch that Let There Be Light suggests. And if you're interested in outfitting your boat with state-of-the-art underwater lighting, ocean LED utilizing the latest discoveries in light-emitting diode technology can custom design a system just for your boat. For Power and Motor Yacht TV, I'm Ken Chrysler, Senior Editor of Power and Motor Yacht Magazine with an inside look at the fascinating world of underwater lights, the ocean LED way. LED technology is the wave of the future in underwater lighting. And leading the way is Ocean LED. The company was founded in December of 2005 by father and son team Nigel and Lee Savage, who lead a highly skilled company of researchers and developers that is constantly on the cutting edge of this fast-moving and remarkable technology. With their expertise, vision, and ability to assess the needs of any boat, regardless of size or hull configuration, the result is a custom-designed lighting system that will have you questioning why you didn't do this before. To get that answer, as well as those to other questions about LEDs, including insight into what they are all about and why they are so well suited for various applications on boats, I sat down with Nigel at his Fort Lauderdale office. Well, the reason we got involved in lighting in the first place was uh, about 18 and a half to 19 years ago when we started doing all kinds of interior and exterior lights for big super yachts and big luxury vessels. Um, but I always wanted to get to the stage where we could do underwater lighting on boats because I always thought that was the, really the most fantastic thing to do. But, well, LEDs basically um, is a light emitting diode, that's what it stands for. Um, it's basically phosphor that comes from the sea and it has an electrical current that's passed through it. Unlike an ordinary light bulb which has a filament and the filament itself it gets red hot and white hot to let out light, um, LEDs work on a completely different system where the phosphor emits light, it's a living life form. Uh, it uses far, far less energy than, than ordinary incandescent lighting or HID lighting. As Nigel explained to me, the actual light output of LEDs as compared to regular lighting is due to the amount of useful light that you can actually see. As described in this diagram, while lumens and watts are used to measure direct light inside a light fixture, light can be trapped inside that fixture. Therefore, only the useful light should be measured. And this unit of measurement is known as lux and is the amount of light on a surface at a fixed distance. And when it comes to lighting up a boat, in this case, Boomerang, a vintage Rybovich sportfish lovingly cared for and maintained. The results are dramatic. One of the many questions I had was just how do LEDs compare to most traditional kinds of underwater lighting? But it, it's, it's, it's a matter really of, uh, of an LED where if you have a, have a, um, a light and it's a small light, um, we actually collect the light by putting a collimator on top of the LED. So it, instead of our competitors' lights which have a bulb with a reflector to try and gather the light, we have a, a, a small collimator which goes on top of the LED and all the light that comes out is bounced around inside this little collimator like a prism using total internal reflection and is bounced out the front. So we can use much, much less power, far less wattage, to produce much more light because all of it's being used. When it comes to small boats, we use fewer LEDs. When it comes to big boats, we use more LEDs. To further this idea, take a look at this side-by-side -side illustration on how LED technology differs from traditional reflector and bulb lighting. As you can readily see, LEDs are able to direct illumination straight out instead of losing light within the fixture because of absorption. Ocean LED offers a variety of sizes, colors, and beam patterns, and is the reason why the company is able to design a system suitable for your individual needs, no matter what size boat you own. Ocean LED has several ranges of lights. First up is the fish strobe. Available in both green and blue, they flush mount on the bottom of the boat and when interfaced with the ocean camera, you can watch both prey and predator on your television as they gather beneath your boat. The through-hull series, like the ones mounted on Cricket, a Hatteras Sportfish, are the most popular and come in various sizes. 
to get an idea of what happens with bait fish in the water under the influence of Ocean LED's blue lights, take a look at the action astern of Cricket as we drifted in the offshore waters of Palm Beach Inlet. I'd say it looks like dinner time for any big fish in the area. Nigel also explained how easy Ocean LED lights are to install. This is our uh, through hole series, which has a one inch hole cut out. It has two grooves here where the 4200 uh, sealer goes round. That goes through the boat, a washer goes onto that, and inside the boat, this nut screws onto the back, spins down, and once it's down to the uh, level of the transom, you do these three bolts up, and that's it, finished. The driver cable itself for the, for the light is straightforward with IP68 cable glands on both sides. That goes onto the light push fit. The other end push fits into the driver and it's job done. All connections are ABYC compliant. This azimuth is being fit with both stern and side lights. And to begin with, a one inch hole is drilled through the hull. The surface is then scruffed up with sandpaper to allow for the proper adhesion. The fixture is now ready for the 4200 sealer, first around the neck and then in both grooves. With another worker inside to receive the neck, the fixture is fitted into the hole and held tight until properly seated and then bolted fast. Then it's plug and play. After a quick and easy cleanup, and as Nigel says, it's job done. Ocean AD has a combination of lights to fit any boat in any orientation. The through hull series here is perfect for the transom of the boat. The flush mount here is great for the sides of the boat and the bottom of the boat so that you don't have any drag. The surface mount here, of course, is great for the transom of the boat, not the sides of the boat. And the important thing to remember is that because LEDs, and our LEDs in particular, have a color temperature of 10,000 degrees Kelvin, to an ordinary person that's very, very white, white, white. But the difference is this. If you have a conventional light now, and you've got four across the back of your boat, one bulb goes, you really need to replace all the bulbs. The reason is this, you get a new bulb and put it in, that's gonna be the brightest by a very long way, and all of a sudden you're gonna see dull, 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 bright. With Ocean LED, all the LEDs are exactly the same color temperature. So it doesn't matter which combination, which size of light, no matter what they are, they're all exactly the same color. Another dramatic application of Ocean LED's lights can be seen aboard the 110-foot crew-owned and operated charter yacht Island Time. And while she's pretty to look at in the daytime, when the sun starts to disappear, she starts to take on an entirely new look as her 31 ocean LED blue lights transforms her into something really special. As with all ocean LED lights, the company has come up with a very special polymeric resin coating to resist any marine growth from adhering to it. Should any growth show up, you merely wipe the lens clean. And for optimum operation, these special cooling rods disperse heat much more efficiently than traditional heat sinks. In addition, and for the budget-minded retrofit owner, Ocean LED also manufactures this affordable injection molded fixture. Other innovative offerings include a pre-wired plug-and-play cabinet for multiple lights on larger boats as well as a weld-in unit for super yachts with either steel or aluminum hulls. I also had the opportunity to meet with Concord Marine's design engineer Ted Banning as well as Fairline's Jim Renfro for their take on ocean LED underwater lights. At Concord Marine Electronics, uh, we've chosen Ocean LED lights as the primary underwater lights that we'd like to represent because of the technology and the, and the quality of uh, the fabrication that they provide. I'm presently working with uh, Broward Marine on their uh, new race pilot house series. And the, the thing that we see in Ocean LED that's different than perhaps some of the other competitors is the intensity of the LED light. Uh, and the, I guess, the warmth of the color that comes through the water, uh, especially in these blue lights. Um, as again, I've seen them uh, on and they look spectacular.
We're really happy to see that Ocean LED has opened an office here in Fort Lauderdale to help support the U.S. consumers. We think their commitment to service and warranty after the sale is going to be a great benefit to our customers. Uh, when I saw the uh, Ocean LED lights for the first time last week during a photo shoot on a Targa 52 and Targa 62, I was really impressed at how bright the lights were. Uh, so much more uh, clarity than the regular lights that we're used to seeing in the marketplace. Uh, I'll be surprised if our customers ever choose anything different. Whether you fish, need lights for security, or just want to make your boat look beautiful, Ocean LED can design a system just for you. For Power Motor Yacht TV, I'm Ken Chrysler, Senior Editor of Power Motor Yacht Magazine. I'll see you next time.